Hey folks, this is uh, either going to be a really uh, cool video that uh, supports the case that I made on my blog this morning, that trade is pretty easy, or it's going to be long and not go according to plan and I end up deleting it. Whichever way, we're going to try this thing. Um, so I'm sitting in my hideout and I am about to price some of my... Uh, Delve resonators. So we'll start with these and I'm going to put one chaos on them and these I'm going to put one chaos on them and these I'm going to put three chaos on them and this one I'm going to put 30 chaos and then up here I have a bunch of shuddering so I'm going to put five chaos a piece and we'll see what happens. So it usually takes a little while for uh, the trade sites to refresh. Um, there are folks that are running trade macros um, that are essentially like scanning for items at all times. And in theory, here in a few minutes, it should trigger and I should get my first customer. Um, I have my... While I'm sitting here just talking and killing time until that happens, if that happens. Um, so essentially I've set my hideout out so that all of the things that are of importance to me are in this central area. So I have my stash tab, the guild stash, the heist locker, the expedition locker. Lily Roth is the vendor that I use the most often. Nico is a vendor that I use pretty often so that I can check to see how full my uh, sulfide is. Um, also, like I cleared out some massive cities the last couple times I've played. Um, I've got a couple nodes here that I need to clear out. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Of course, you know, now that I'm sitting here uh, trying to do this, I'm not going to get any nibbles. Um, let me make sure that the tab is still public. Yes, it is still public. And these are now showing as priced. Um, we'll see. It could just be that nobody's actually actively playing. Um, and it would be, you know, the one time that I attempt to record this that, you know, I get nothing. So that's kind of sad. I guess if I cared enough, I could edit together these clips and there we go except for i really don't want to sell them one ten at a time um but we'll do it we'll 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 fill this first purchase Okay. This will do 40. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to trade. And he's going to put 40 currency in, and then we hit go. And then this guy wants 100. Dunk. Okay. There's a hundred. Trade. And da, 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 da. Okay. And then and there one another 
40. So one, two, three, four. Okay, and there's a 75. And there we go. And we are completely out of the first kind of uh, resonator. And it may take a while before the others sell out. But, you know, that, that just proves my point. Like, it was just a few minutes, and I'm completely out. And when they come in... They come in in mass, and like there's a bunch of them that I didn't even get to. Um, let's see, make sure there's nothing for anything other than primitives. Yeah, so now that they've depleted the stock of primitives, a lot of times folks will start going down to the other ones. Um, but yeah, that's I mean that's that's the trade economy, and like. The interaction is is super simple, um, you know. Essentially, there's kind of a an unofficial order to things, so that if you're selling, you stay in your hideout, and the people that are buying from you come to your hideout and buy. Um, and generally speaking, like it goes just this quick. Anyway, that. That was all I wanted to show off was how rapidly I could deplete a stack of 255 primitive resonators. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll uh, probably make another dumb video at some point soon.